Hi, this is Imad Al Alam, Biomed Researches, Middle East Medical Information Center, and Director of Epilepsy Awareness Program founder and publisher. Welcome to a new episode of Electrical Activity of Brain, or simply Brain Waves. In this episode, we will learn the methods of electrical activity of the brain. We will learn the brain waves, the four brain waves known as alpha, theta, beta, delta, and much, much more. Please stay tuned. Brain waves are generated by the building blocks of your brain. The individual cells called neurons communicate with each other by electrical changes. We can actually see these electrical changes in the form of brain waves as shown on the electroencephalogram or EEG test. Brain waves are measured in cycles per second or hertz is the short form for that. We also talk about the frequency of the brain wave activity. The lower the number of frequency or the hertz, the slower the brain activity or the slower the frequency of the activity. Researchers in 1930s and 40s Researchers in 1930s and 40s identified several different types of brain waves. Traditionally, these fall into four types, which we will talk about it later on. Our human brain is an electrochemical organ which, with generated waves, which proves that human beings never switch off their minds. And this is a figure of the human brain, which we have explained in detail in our last episode. And these are the lobes of the brain. This is the frontal. This is first of all the front. This is the back. This is the frontal lobe. This is the parietal lobe. This is the occipital lobe. This is the temporal lobe. This is our cerebellum. This is our brainstem. And this is the spinal cord. Researchers have speculated that a fully functioning brain can generate as much as 10 watts of electrical power. And as I said, this is uh, only a speculation. There are three levels of arousals. The first level is called sleeping. The second one is relaxing. The third one is action. In sleeping arousal, large slow waves are seen. In relaxing, the waves become faster. But in action, dense EEG pattern is seen and is characterized by low voltage and high frequency producing fast waves. So these are example of the three arousals. This is the sleeping. And you can see here, during the sleeping, slow waves are large, and it easily can be recognized. So during the sleeping, we will have a low frequency and high amplitude. During the relaxing, the waves become faster, as you can notice here. And during the action, the waves become very fast which means that the frequency is becoming high and amplitude is becoming low. Electrical activity emanating from the brain is, is displayed in the form of brain waves. There are four categories of these brain waves ranging from the most activity to the least activity. So in order of frequency, brain waves can be classified as of the following. This is the first type of brain wave which is called beta brain waves and it ranges from 14 to 30 hertz per second and by the way when i'm talking here i'm talking by uh, when i'm talking about uh, the, the hertz i'm talking per second so i mean uh, beta brain waves will range from 14 to 30 hertz per second can be noticed on alert and working and you can see the shape of beta wave it is associated with alternance concentration and learning higher levels associated with anxiety, fear, and stress. The second type of brain waves are called alpha brain waves, and it ranges from 18 to 13.9 hertz, and it can be noticed in relaxed and reflective. It is associated with relaxing and well-being, sober learning, light trance, and increased serotonin production, and there is one point I really want to note uh, to, to, to bring your notice about is that you might have seen the frequencies of these brain waves with different values like for example some of them consider it from 13 to 25 or from 13 to 30 hertz for the beta brain wave some of them consider it for the alpha from 8 to 13 the same thing applies to the beta theta they consider it from 8 to 
4 hertz or sorry from 4 to 8 hertz and the same thing for delta so the values have not been completely fixed on specific values such as uh, beta will be from 14 to 30 you know, there are some people who say and some researchers who say that beta is from for example 15 to 30 or 15 to 25 the same applies to the remaining but generally this is the frequency of the brain waves the third type of brain wave is the theta brain wave which ranges from 4 to 7.9 hertz and it can be noticed in drowsy it can be noticed also during the REM sleep dreaming sleep REM sleep is the dreaming sleep associated with incre increased learning and memory creativity deep mediation allows access to the unconscious the fourth type of the brain waves is called the delta brain wave and it ranges from 1 to 3.9 hertz and it can be seen on sleep and dreaming present during dreamless sleep the deepest phase of the sleep so delta waves as we can see here is the waves which have which have the highest amplitude and the lowest frequency after that comes the theta wave which is still, I mean, it has a high amplitude and lower frequency, but still it is higher than the delta wave. Then the frequency starts to increase, and as we can see it here, on the, on the alpha uh, wave, which is ranging, as I said, from 8 to 13.9 hertz, the frequency increases and the amplitude decreases. The wave where the amplitude becomes the lowest and the frequency becomes the highest is called the beta wave there is also gamma wave where, where scientists talk up, uh, about which is from about 30 to 20 to 55 or to 60 but we will not concentrate about it this time we'll just talk about the four types of the brain waves generated seen during the EEG exam or test if we will talk in more details about these brain waves, you can see here one thing. The, the, the distance between these two lines is the one second distance. And when we say that, for example, this is a theta wave or this is an alpha wave, we calculate the waves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is comes on the alpha category. So this is the way we calculate it. And the distance between these two lines is one second. You can see here, I have uh, made it on a diagram so that it can be understood easily. Here, this is the delta wave. One, two, three, up to four waves. This is the delta per second. The theta increases up to eight and the alpha increases up to 14 and the beta from 14 onwards up to 30 hertz. So the beta waves abbreviated with this symbol ranges from 14 to 30 cycles a second. It represents arousal and has characteristics of a strongly engaged mind. A person in active conversation would be in the beatus. A person making a speech or a teacher or a talk show host would be all in beta. These beta waves are of relatively low amplitude and are the fastest of the four different brain waves. So as you can see here, the amplitude of the wave is low but the frequency is high. So it's the fastest among all these brain waves. In other words, we can say beta waves are having low voltage and high frequency. Alpha waves, abbreviated with this simple, ranges from frequency of 80, 8 to 13 hertz. It represents non arousal. Meanwhile, we can see the arousal in the beta wave. But for the alpha wave, it represents the non arousal. It is slower than the beta waves and higher in amplitude. It occurs when a person is relaxed but alert. During this state, a person is awake but resting. A person who has completed a task and sit down to rest is often in an alpha state. A person who takes a break from a conference and whatever walks in the garden is also in the alpha state. So you can see this is the alpha state. It is from 8 to 13 hertz. And if we count this, 
between these two lines, which means one second, we will know that this is an alpha wave. The third type of waves is called the theta wave, and it's abbreviated with this symbol. It ranges from 4 to 7 hertz. There, it is typically having a greater amplitude and slower frequency. So it's the opposite. If you look at the theta wave, you can see the amplitude is increasing here, but the frequency is decreasing here. And it ranges from 4 to 7 hertz. It is associated with sleep, deep relaxation, and visualization. A person on a daydream is often on a theta brainwave state. So the last one of brain waves is called the delta brain wave, and this is the symbol of the delta brain wave, and it ranges from below 4 hertz, and it is considered with the greatest amplitude and slowest frequency. So uh, this is our delta brain wave. You can see the amplitude have increased from theta to delta. The amplitude is increasing, but the frequency is decreasing. So the number of waves or frequency has decreased from the fastest, as we can see in the beta, to the lowest, as we can see on the delta. But on the opposite, we can see that the, the highest amplitude can be seen on the delta wave and the lowest amplitude can be seen on the beta wave. Delta waves occurs during sleep and never go down to zero. Why they never go down to zero? Because if they go down to zero, this will indicate a brain death state, a brain death status. So, I mean, it does not go to zero at all. But dreamless sleep would take you down to the lowest frequency, typically 2 to 3 hertz or 3 cycles per second. So now let us look, like, look at an EEG recording and how the brain waves are displayed in the recording. We will not go in details into this topic now as it will be the subject of the next episode. I will just give you a short idea about it and we can see how the brain waves acquired by the amplifier connected to an EEG machine is displayed on the screen. This is an example of an EEG recording as we see here. These are the brain waves, and as well, these are the labels of the montage, where each alphabet and number reflects the side, the hemispheric, the hemispheric side of the brain, and the lobes of the brain. Like for example, this is from this label is from FP1 to F3. FP1 is frontal polar one to F3 to frontal three. And this is from frontal 3 to central 3. This is from central 3 to parietal 3. This is from parietal 3 to occipital 1. And so on. So the, the odd numbers, as we talked about earlier, reflect to the left side of the brain. The even numbers is associated with the right side of the brain. The first alphabet reflects to the brain lobe. This is an EEG recording acquired. And we can see here... I'm, I'm just moving it. This is the annotations. And some of them includes eye blinking. And this is an example of a Caesar, as you can see here. This is an example of a Caesar in the brain. And you can see the shape of the brain waves have changed from a state of almost, uh, from a state of a, a simple line, I mean, which has low amplitude and high frequencies to a state of high amplitudes as we can see here so the patient in this instance was having a caesar i will talk more in details about caesar epilepsy and uh, the characteristics the types on our next episodes of understanding eeg and you can see the patient still on the caesar state and it seems as a generalized one You can see the, the patient is starting to rest after the seizure, but still there are some artifacts and there are some abnormal waves. So this is an example of an EEG recorded. This is an example of an EEG recorded using an electroencephalogram or EEG machine or unit, which we will talk about more further and in details in our next episodes. 
So thank you for being a good listener. Stay tuned. We will publish more new videos on our uh, series Understanding EEG soon. And hopefully, if you have any comments or any suggestions which can help us to improve these episodes, we will we will, we do all comment at our email uh, info at biomedresearches.com. Thanks a lot and have a very good day.